Hello students, welcome to the pole science of class 12 arts and today we will proceed with the next topic related to the chapter globalization that is political consequences. Before this we read and understand about the concept of globalization and the causes of globalization. So today we will proceed with the consequences related to political scenario. So let us proceed then. So under political consequences, the first point is globalization results in an erosion of state that is the ability of government to do what they do. That means globalization, the concept of globalization or globalization has re resulted in what? Erosion of state. Clear? It is actually this erosion of state can be related to the ability of government to do what they do. That means they have been free to do according to their wish. After that, globalization does not always reduce state capacity. The primacy of the state continues to be unchallenged basis of political community. So apart from number one point which says that it results in erosion of state that means the government can do whatever they want to. And in the second point under political consequences, it says that it does not always reduce state capacity. The primacy of state continues to be unchallenged basis of political community. Clear? That means globalization does not reduce the state capacity in a large scale. What, what is the, whatever is the system related to the political community, it goes on like that only. After that comes state capacity has a boost, has got a boost as a consequence of globalization with enhanced technologies available at the disposable of the state to collect information about its citizens. So state capacity related to the political background through globalization it has become very easy for any political parties to know or get information about the citizens living in that particular country. And how has globalization helped that in the political scenario? It has actually helped through the process or through the technology that is coming and also through the technology which is upgrading day by day and through that only the political parties or the government can have information of any citizens living in that uh, country, particular country through this technology or through the concept or through globalization. Clear? Now coming to the next point that is economic consequences of globalization. So usually economy, economic globalization involves greater economic flows among different countries of the world. So economic flows in various forms like commodity, capital, people and ideas prompts rich countries to invest their money in countries other than their own. It also draws attention towards the role of GMF and WTO in determining economic policies across the world. So when we talk about economic consequences, that means what? Due to globalization, those who are very rich, those companies or the individuals who are very rich, apart from investing in their own country, they are also curious and very much interested in investing in other countries apart from their own. And the reason for investing in those countries are that a better opportunity. If they see that there is bet better opportunity to invest in that, so in that condition these people or the company of another country actually are very inspired and interested to invest in that. So regarding economic globalization it involves greater economic flow among the different countries of the world. So economic flows why it is? It, because it is there in various forms like commodity, capital, people and ideas. These four things are very much common in order to relate with globalization. And these only like this structures like commodity, capital, people and ideas, whatever are there, it only prompts rich countries to invest their money in countries than their own. 
it also draws attention towards the role of jmf and wto that means trade organization can be there monetary world bank can be there world trade organizations are there so all these are a very important factor in determining in economic policies across the world so as i have told you earlier that rich countries or rich individual will only invest in those countries where they see that or where they feel that there are better eco economic opportunities so on that particular condition only this rich countries will invest after that advocates of economic globalization argue that it generates greater economic growth and well-being for larger sections of the population where there is deregulation greater trade among countries allow each economy to do what is what it does best this would benefit the whole world that means advocates of economic globalization argue that it generates greater economic growth that means who are the advocates of economic globalization are those who are in support of the globalization related to the economic scenario so they argue that it generates greater economic growth and well-being for larger sections of the population that means they always feel that and they always feel and think that globalization related to economic scenario is always best for any country and they believe apart from that they also believe that it can set a greater source of development and welfare for a larger sections of the population of the world and greater trade among countries allows each economy to do what it does best and the advocates or the supporter of economic globalization also think that there should be a free trade policy under which each and every country should trade with each other and when they will start doing trade with each other this would benefit the whole world because every country will have their trade ties with each other and during that process only when the trade policies and the trade will be allowed between every country in the world at last this will benefit the whole world clear coming to the third consequences or the third point of consequences that is cultural consequences so cultural globalization emerges and enlarges our choices and modify our culture without overwhelming the tradition norms those who make this argument often draw attention to the mcdonaldization of the world with culture seeking to buy into the dominant american dream the burger is no substitute for a masala dosa and therefore does not pose any challenge so in terms of cultural consequences related to globalization cultural globalization actually emerges and enlarges our choices and modify our culture without overwhelming the tradition norms that means through the globalization related to cultural scenario we are very much inspired and we are very much interested in knowing that particular culture and while we are inspired and interested to know the other particular culture we are not affecting and we are, or we are not making our own culture to effect with our interest so those who make this argument often draw attention to the mcdonaldization of the world that means some some criticize that this globalization has process has actually ruined our own society but that is not the fact because if we are interested in having the food from mcdonald and we are very much interested in buying all those eating products from mcdonald that does not mean that it will have an effect on our indian food such as masala dosa because this is the masala dosa is related to indian culture and we as an indian love this food and apart from loving masala dosa we also like burger from mcdonald so in that relation only that is being this line tells us that the mcdonald 
or the inspiration from the McDonald does not or will not have any effect to the food related to Indian people the, such as masala dosa because the McDonald is not a replacement for masala dosa the taste of that food is different and the food from McDonald tastes different so therefore it does not pose any challenge related to cultural consequences or related to globalization so these are completely different food and these have different taste so for that reason only the people will not make substitute because burger of the McDonald is not a substitute for masala dosa so as a result it will not have any problem or it will not pose any challenge to both the taste that the people are related to clear so with this I will wind up today's topic related to the chapter globalization and in today's topic we discussed about the political consequences after that we discussed about economic consequences and lastly we understood about the cultural consequences so please make a note down of all these important points in your copy thank you